Namaste everyone. Today uh, I am uh, going to talk about a very special topic which um, we are unaware of because uh, this is related to astronomy and the configuration of a horoscope which what I have lately found is that many astrologers are unaware of. First of all, uh, to know how to manually calculate a horoscope is something that only 2% of astrologers really know nowadays. What people refer to as <laughs> calculating a horoscope or making a horoscope is rather uh, in putting the birth details into a software and then copying that into a notebook. Uh, absolutely, that is not what making a horoscope is. The real making of horoscope is, uh, you know, to take the help of the panchang or almanac and then calculating everything manually yourself. In the classics of uh, astronomy, how to calculate the planetary positions are also told, but that is a very tedious task. The calculation of planetary positions all done by yourself will take a long time, at least one, two months, right? And then it have to be then again, you know, uh, corrected with astronomical observations. So for this particular reason, one can take the help of a panchang and uh, or a NASA FM rights that is published. But after that, everything have to be done manually, right? Now, because people uh, now don't calculate horoscope themselves, they also overlook the configuration of a horoscope. So today I'm going to talk about this particular topic with respect to how understanding the configuration of a horoscope makes us understand the deeper and hidden meaning of houses. And I am not talking of houses from the ascendant only, but it can be considered from any planet, houses from significator, houses from house lord, or houses from uh, a particular house that is known as Bhavat Bhava. In all these things, this is important, fundamental, and essential. And that's why it needs to be understood. Now, first of all, uh, the South Indian horoscope is based on the zodiac belt and does not help us much in the understanding of houses. The North Indian horoscope is an astronomical horoscope which is based on houses, right? So South Indian horoscope is based on Rashis and North Indian horoscope is based on houses. And it is the North Indian horoscope that we should use and understand if we want to understand the houses in depth. One can also say that South Indian astrology is more Rashi dependent and North Indian astrology is more, North Indian astrology is more house dependent. But the real uses of Rashi is lost. Now, because in the last 500, 600 years, the maximum emphasis in astrology that have been given is only with respect to the houses only, right? So uh, first, a point first. You make a horoscope, you make a North Indian horoscope. And why North Indian horoscope is more dependent on houses, why we are saying that is for a particular reason. That reason being, uh, when we say this is a Kendra or angular house, then it is only the North Indian horoscope where the Kendras actually fall in the Kendras. In South Indian horoscope, it does not happen. And when we say these are the Trikonas or the Trines, it is only the North Indian horoscope where the Trines actually fall in trines, right? So for this particular reason, the North Indian horoscope is an astronomical horoscope or rather say house-based horoscope, right? Now, the first thing that you have to understand is 
the kendras specifically the fourth house and the 10th house are the two basic houses on which the framework of the horoscope is based upon imagining the horoscope to be a building the fourth house and the 10th house is the basic pillar on which the horoscope is standing right so this is the uh, north indian horoscope and everyone is well accustomed to that right so i will be talking and you keep this north indian horoscope in your mind is what i am expecting you to do <clears throat> now particularly this fourth house and 10th house as we have seen are the two basic pillars on which the horoscope is standing for this particular reason fourth house and 10th house are told houses which indicate happiness fourth house which indicates happiness and 10th house which indicates special happiness more than happiness the fourth house and 10th house are to be understood in this particular way that if fourth house and the 10th house is weak then in that matter the structure of the horoscope will fall down the structure of the horoscope will collapse the strength of the structure or the strength of the horoscope is dependent on the fourth house and 10th house this is the prime reason that in many classics 10th house is also considered a house for longevity because the collapsing of the ascendant or collapsing of the horoscope also means a short life right and the same can be understood with respect to the fourth house also so the first point that we understand is that fourth house and 10th house are very important for determination of longevity and should i tell you this is one of my biggest secrets related to longevity that leave every house aside it is the fourth house and 10th house which actually decides the actual longevity of the native that also works in practice despite the fact what other astrological classics tell you noted now the point is ascendant is the native it indicates health name fame status prestige owner longevity all of these things fourth house and 10th house being the basic structure of the horoscope right from longevity to how much name fame status authority prestige one can have in life will he be will the native be healthy not healthy and all of these things are decided with respect to the fourth house and 10th house so it should be clearly understood that see now the method of analysis is very simple if there are planets in the 4th house and 10th house you consider the planets the condition of these planets as per the rashi they occupy and which houses are loaded by these planets and if there are no planets in these houses then you take the lord of these houses where they are placed what is their condition as per the rashi that they occupy now the strength of the 4th house and 10th house gives strength to the horoscope gives strength to the native the 4th house and 10th house being powerful the lord of the 4th house and 10th house being powerful the planets in the 4th house and 10th house being powerful gives one a disease free life long life and a life which is worth living having name fame prestige owner and all these things whereas if the 4th house and 10th house is bad afflicted there are bad planets there the lord of these houses are bad in this particular scenario all of these things are challenged and there is problem in the life of the native the native have a short life he have a lot of diseases challenges obstructions right name fame prestige owner is compromised the same is to be done with any planet for an example you take venus venus indicate love happiness and marriage now now how is your love life how much happiness you get from your partner how much happiness you normally get in life have to be decided from the fourth house and 10th house from venus and if there is no planet in fourth house and 10th house from venus then the lord of these houses should be taken 
take the same from the jupiter and the fifth lord if the fourth house and 10th house from jupiter or the fifth lord have big planets or lord of these rashis are weak then the power potential of a person to produce a child to give biologically birth to another soul is very weak as when fourth and 10th house becomes afflicted they make the planet the ascendant or the structure weak fragile and the structure does not stand for long so right from the prediction of longevity to health to name fame prestige owner to the level and the extent to which the enjoyment related to that particular house or that particular planet can be felt is all decided by this fourth house and fifth house for sorry four thousand ten thousand right now coming to the next two houses the fifth house and the ninth house this fifth house and ninth house along with the first house makes the trine understand it this particular way that the four thousand ten thousand are the two pillars on which the horoscope is standing and just like a table or something which can be extended the fifth house and ninth house is this extra leg that i have made here right so what can happen if you want to extend the table you can fold this particular leg and can put it only on this particular leg this is the fifth house and ninth house and can extend the table or can lower down the table that kind of a scenario is what fifth house and ninth house presents so basically <clears throat> fifth house and ninth house indicates the expansion indicates the growth how much growth can be expected now keeping in mind the ascendant fifth house is your creative expression creative expansion whatever you can think whatever you can produce your ideas your children's comes from the fifth house that is one aspect of expansion you say mental expansion ninth house is the fortune that is the material expansion so the level the quality and the extent of expansion needs to be seen with respect to the fifth house and ninth house from the ascendant for the native and from any planet for that so you say the expansion of marriage is production of children when you get married to someone the fortune or misfortune whatever of the native is also coming with the native so when fifth house and ninth house from venus or the seventh lord which signifies marriage is bad or afflicted in that particular scenario birth of a child may become an issue and after marriage rather than finding positive growths in life the growth of the native may be crumbled and compromised same is the case with jupiter or the fifth lord now you take jupiter as wisdom and fifth lord as wisdom checking the fifth house and ninth house from this jupiter you will know the expansion of knowledge right so some knowledge you get from school then with your self learning and with experience you expand that knowledge can you really expand that or you cannot expand that there are some people who cannot expand their knowledge cannot learn anything from experience dumb afflicted fifth and ninth house from jupiter whereas people having good fifth and ninth house from jupiter are those people who can expand their knowledge based on other learnings by learning magazine and additional books and also expand their experience with expand their learnings with experience and other such things also planets in the fifth and ninth house from jupiter will indicate what is becoming an hurdle in your understanding or expansion of knowledge generally when you see planets situated in the fifth and ninth house from jupiter you will generally see this is a person which have a very stagnant approach this is a person who have some preconceived notion and to tell truth to this person to actually convey them the reality will be very difficult as their understanding is bounded 
specifically when there are malefics in the fifth and ninth house from Jupiter. On the other hand, those who are having fifth and ninth house from Jupiter empty are those people who are open to other thoughts and ideas and can take criticism also. Can take criticism also in a positive way and can learn as well. And those people who have strong planets in fifth and ninth from Jupiter or the fifth and the ninth Lord from Jupiter is powerful. Those are those people who, despite having a normal, humble education, learn a lot through experience and additional learning, say through magazines, newspapers, etc., learnings through discussions, etc. And because of this additional learning, they are able to secure a greater position and advantageous position in their life, profession, or anything for, for such matter. Right. So taking the same from moon moon as mind with different experiences how much your mind your thinking your emotional quotient expands or how much it contracts right like meeting with an unfortunate event people having malefics in fifth and ninth from uh, moon or fifth and ninth lord from moon in a bad condition, such people after a bad experience go into themselves, turn negative, become revengeful, etc. Whereas those people who are having good planets in fifth and ninth from moon or the fifth or ninth lord from moon is into a good condition, those people after meeting with an unfortunate event or anything as such, rather take on a helping approach share their stories with the world and try to make the world a better place, taking experience and learning from their own sufferings, right? So in this particular way, you have to understand that the fifth and the ninth house is expansion. For the ascendant or for any house or for any planet. And based on the planets situated in the fifth and the ninth house or if the fifth and ninth house is empty, then based on the lot of the fifth and ninth house from the planet, you have to understand how these expansions are going to happen. Now the 12th house and the second house from a planet is also very important. This 12th house is the support and second house is the path forward. Second house from the ascendant indicates how smooth your life is. And what are the major challenges and obstacles that are going to come? For example, sun in the second house will indicate many ego challenges and many people getting jealous out of you, which is, which will create issues, provided the fact this sun is negative. When this sun is exalted, Varguttam Unarashi, then this sun becomes good. And that indicate help and support from government employees. Right, so on and so forth related to other planets, you have to understand, keeping in mind that second house is the path forward. So planets in second from Venus indicate what, what are the hurdles and obstacles that come when you are wishing to get married to, on the path of marriage. When you desire to get married to and searching for a spouse and once you get married, then after, then in the a uh, way of marital life, which issues, problems, etc. come. Second house is the path forward. And 12th house is the support. So, you know, like a native, a personality is because of something. You know, so we say like if someone is uh, claiming something, there are two types of things. One is a baseless, useless, senseless claim. Right? Like there are many new age astrological researchers who even don't know how to look at a horoscope, but they claim a research. So now this is senseless, baseless, what do we say? Empty claim. You know, there is a saying in Hindi, So this is a, so you know, like anything, what is the support? If someone is wishing, someone goes to a showroom, wants to purchase a car. Now there are two, three types of support. One have earned money, have that money, want to purchase a car that is support one. Another person is, you know, like have took some money from their parents and using that money, he want to purchase a car that is a second type of support. 
third person is thinking that okay i am eligible for a loan i will go and i will apply for this particular loan and will purchase a car this is the third support fourth person have a pre approved loan right so all of these people have different supports and based on the quality of their support first second and fourth fourth one are very likely to have a car in the first attempt itself whereas the third one may or may not have a car in the first attempt right so this particular support system if this support system comes from the 12th house right 12th house from the ascendant is your support for this particular life now it it depends on the planet see if you have a positive sun in 12th from ascendant father is your support system and if you have a negative sat sun in the 12th house then father is weakening your confidence and is weakening your support system right so it have to be understood this particular way and if there is no planet in the 12th house then you are going to take the 12th lord and the house this 12th lord is situated in the rashi this 12th lord is situated in the conjunction and aspects in which this 12th lord is contributing in so on and so forth right a standard procedure of analyzing a horoscope is something that you are going to apply at this point now coming back say take a plant 10th lord 12th house from the 10th lord indicates the support in your job the educational qualification based on which you get a job the professional experience or recommendations based on which you get a job and second from the 10th lord indicate your path or your journey into that particular job or into that particular profession now you say someone is having a mercury in 12th from the 10th lord he wants to do a business mercury indicate relatives right so support from his relatives he will get into his business now you say second from this 10th lord is mars if this is a positive mars then this person after starting the business will be a leader say leader of the business community union etc whatever and if this is a negative mars then fight argument disagreement with people will make his path difficult in his business right so accordingly it needs to be understood 12th house is the support system and second house is the path forward if the support system is very very good that means 12th house is good 12th house is having a powerful planet the 12th lord is in a powerful condition then with a good support system generally people succeed well and even after a few setbacks they are able to sustain whereas those having a uh, 12th house week or 12th lord week are those people who even after one two small hurdles will shut off their business see uh, like 12th from the 10th lord is a weak planet or the 12th lord from the 10th lord is weak in that scenario certainly one cannot sustain in business for long and after one two shocks or one two hurdles they will be forced to you know close the business or they will be forced to shut it down because you know they cannot sustain it support system is not there now the third house and the 11th house regarding the third house what you should understand is the third house and 11th house indicate those challenges and those things which are not obvious right 11th house indicate those things which you have ignored in past but you are not aware of and they have a potential to come as an issue in the further journey and third house indicate those things which you may ignore in future and which can come as an issue in future times for a particular example in the horoscope of bill gates third from the 10th lord is venus now you better know what i am saying right so you say third from the 10th lord is 7th house 7th lord third from the 10th lord is 7th lord then a partnership you are you will overlook in future you will think that this partnership is good without you know 
properly thinking over it you assume that this will be good you know some assumptions will be made you will overlook the complete perspective and will make a haphazard decision this is what third house indicates and 11th house like if seventh lord is in the 11th house then it indicates in past you have made a commitment a partnership commitment kind of a stuff haphazardly which is now going to create an issue right so this third house and 11th house indicate those things which are ignored which you are overlooking third house which you will overlook in the future and 11th house which you have overlooked in past these things have a potential to come as an issue and that will be further bad for an example people having sun or rahu in 11th from their 10th lord are very susceptible that sometimes earlier when their business was in starting stage they skipped paying taxes etc overlooked it and later on when their business grows this fault comes to public and because of this they have to give a good amount of fine suffer through financial loss this is what it indicates this is my experience and generally in business consultations consulting businessmen companies etc i give this particular advice the seventh house the seventh house is the indicates that particular thing which comes as a challenge in starting but later on becomes a strength for you say seventh from the fourth lord is mars then aggression in starting comes as a challenge the person because of his short temper aggressive nature rationality may find himself into a scenario where he have been denied happiness right for an example someone goes on to purchase a car he have an argument with salesman which leads to the people telling in the company that despite the car being in the stock they telling him that we don't have it in stock we cannot deliver it the car that you see we have promised to someone else so this becomes a hurdle in his happiness this is the seventh house at starting but later on once you cross your middle age now that is dependent on longevity when the middle age is but after the middle age this is the this is something that becomes your quality so the same person after middle age because mars also indicate leader after middle age this person becomes a great leader and because of this leadership because of his leadership doing good to many people this he becomes very happy he becomes very contented he becomes satisfied so this same mars whose aggression was earlier denying him happiness becomes a planet who gives him happiness in later part of life this is what the 7th house indicate and coming to the 6th house and 8th house 6th house is that particular opportunity which you mistake for being negative and save yourself from but once you get forced to take that option and to find out that it was not bad and then you enjoy doing it say for an example sixth from the second lord is mercury right so mercury indicate or say sixth from the second lord is moon so moon indicating moon indicates and i am giving you a real example sixth from the second lord is moon that's why i changed from mercury to moon sixth from the second lord was moon and this person was very much afraid of putting money into this uh, you know putting money into this uh, and there was there is a particular type of investment i i just skipped the name 
there's a particular type of investment which you do in bank where bank invests your money into stock market the return is high but the money is somehow at risk also the person was you know like skeptical about whether i should do this type of investment or not right because it was a you know it, it was a risky business the return was great but stock market is fluctuating right fluctuation is indicated by moon that was sixth from the second lord but once he had to do it because he was you know wanting a great amount of money in a shorter time like more amount of money in a shorter time as, as compared to what he was having beforehand and he took a particular amount of money which he did not mind losing and put it into this type of investment only to find out that this have been very good for him and when i was suggesting him this particular thing that you know a little bit risky investment you should do you can do you will be successful in this he told me this particular story that sir this this happened once i wanted to expand my business i wanted quick money in 6 7 months and then i did this right so sixth house from any planet sixth house from the ascendant any any factor ascendant any house any planet any car ka any significant any house lord for the matter indicate those things which at start you are reluctant to do but once you do that it is good for you only and eighth eighth from any planet or eighth from ascendant you should understand a very particular point that this is the change eighth is the change eighth is the house where from it changes from the day to night in the eighth house this is the most relaxed time this is the time to look back and relax eighth house basically indicate that's why eighth house is called a hole eighth house indicate weaknesses eighth house indicates introspection eighth house indicates self reflection eighth house is your biggest mistake the planet in the 7th house from 8th house from the 7th lord or 8th house from venus is your mistake in your marriage etc planet in the 8th house from the 11th lord or 8th house from jupiter is your mistake which is stopping you which is limiting you and not letting you get more gains right for example you say eighth from the ninth lord or eighth from jupiter is rahu then in this case person will be very much reluctant in openly accepting the views and rituals of other religion which for this person because there is a particular horoscopic horoscopic configuration that we are talking about which for this particular person will be a limiting factor will be his own weakness which will stop his success and once he becomes comfortable with contradictory views then his luck and fortune will be in his favor which otherwise will not help him right and all this understanding related to houses that i have told comes when you manually calculate the horoscope and it is not only manual calculation nowadays the manual calculation of horoscope is also mechanical calculation that is very wrong when you manually calculate the horoscope and stop and take a pause at every step and think why this particular calculation is done this way then you get to know these secrets which i have told in this particular video i hope you liked it there are many astronomical aspects related to a horoscope which nowadays astrologers are unaware of but with these type of videos i want to put their attention into these areas and those who actually know how to calculate a horoscope they should certainly pay good attention to why a particular calculation is done a particular way which will open new vistas and new horizons of astrological understanding for them is my firm belief as i have done it myself and have been benefited by the results greatly thank you for watching the video have a good day